Hello everybody, it's Andrew. Um, I realized a little bit ago that um, I've been running this shop for, God, going on maybe like, I think like two years coming up soon. And um, I've never shared it with you guys, so I figured I'd give you a little tour. Um, I guess I'll start out by just doing kind of a rough walk through and then I'll do like kind of a more in depth of each section um, for those of you that want to see more um, so yeah I'll try to do kind of a pan here um, and then we'll just go over here get a brief look at all the different sections and things we do um, it's kind of a lot jammed into this little place um, we have a big focus on uh, video games and stuff like that um, you kind of do like a little variety of different stuff. And, uh, we got some stuff outside too. It's covered with tarps right now because we're not actually open. But there's a few cool things out there too. Um, we've got some arcade cabinets. A Sea Raider up here. things up top there and yeah well that's an, a rough overview and then I guess I can kind of go through each little area um, I guess we start over here we've got you know obviously the game wall and stuff going on up there uh, all the disc based games for the most part go up there there's like do kind of some skateboards and some other stuff up there. Um, we do like a little Pokemon machine. 50 cents to get a little Pokemon. <laughs> and we've got um, handhelds, you know, Game Boys, SPs, things like that in here. We're starting to get a little bit more Switch going on, which is cool. Um, lots of DS and things like that. We've got PlayStation games. GameCube. It's a big ball of stickers here. Um, this is the Genesis cabinet. Uh, well, Genesis and Sega Master System. Um, and we've got a few little things up in here. Um, it's a Darth Vader toaster. Some uh, Virtual Boy games. This is where we keep the box consoles. So we put like uh, any you know any old console that has a box. You know, mostly goes in there. We got stuffed animals up here. Kind of a nice little bunch right now. Um, kind of like Atari shelf there. It's like some Star Wars and like some space picture right there. This is our 3DS and DS cabinet. Um, Game Boy Advance as well. And then I guess we've got, um, yeah, the loose Genesis games down there. Um, coming back over this side, we've got a few cool things above us. Um, Got Woody up there, some different things. I actually like painted the uh, the Kiss makeup on the Beatles. I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> um, really cool MC Escher thing in here. Some kaleidoscopes. I guess you can see the kaleidoscopes on this side better. Uh, War of the Worlds, a little figure in there too. Um, kind of some junk scattered about in here and like a cool walking stick and like a the fork with a little head on it <laughs> and 
getting some swords and things. Um, keep all the Lego in this little Lego display thing. We don't have that many figures right now. We got a few though. All the best ones they all got picked out though. Uh, let's, go, let's go pretty fast. I'm gonna do like bundles of Legos down here. Um, over here, usually we put some anime things and different gaming systems. Um, NES cabinets over here. A few. We got a few rare ones in right now, which is cool. And the Super Nintendo. Um, PSP. And then this is the console wall, which is uh, keep all of our controllers, all the consoles, different things we offer up here. Um, it's a big map above it too. And then like this music collage thing that I bought off this guy. Um, usually TV's on, we usually have Super Monkey Ball going in there. <laughs> and uh, we got kind of like a little toy tower here. Different little toys are always coming in, little marble machine. And then this is the Game Boy, original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and 64 cabinet. Um, some more down there. Some different pins and things down here. Um, over here we've got like a locker that I usually just use as little shelves. Kind of decorated it a bit. I like that one. The conquest of space. <laughs> These weird looking cats. Um, got some light fixtures up here. Um, this is my desk area. So I'm usually sitting right where that arrow is. <laughs> um, I'm currently painting that right now. I'm going to paint something on it. Um, I did like a big collage on the desk, so it's like old currency and just photos and just, you know, things like that. Um, there's this puppet I've found recently I'm trying to repair, which is being a pain in the ass, but um, some different, this is kind of like my little keepsake area where I keep a few things. I really love that picture there. I don't know if you can see it, but I like that. <laughs> um, this is kind of cool. And then we're moving on to sort of, well, I guess near the desk here, we've got, this where we do postcards and pins, currency, pipes, um, things like that. We've also got like the pin board down here, with buttons and pins on it. We just sort of stick different pins in there. Got some free dog treats, if you got a dog with you. And then um, up here, we just kind of keep some different different things that come in. I don't know, just kind of random stuff that is, you know, I think is cool. Um, and I'll put that in there. Um, those big tentacles, kind of cool. We got a bee's nest up here. And then uh, moving on from that, we've got kind of like a bookshelf area, um, kind of a Barbie area down here, and then sort of like a patch bin and like a sticker bin type thing. Some cool stickers and stuff. There's like a kind of a cool toy bin down here with like comic things on it. Um, and then. Back over here is like the CD kind of feature wall. So we change that out, you know, every week or two with different CDs that we're featuring and stuff. Um, this is like a sign that's like, you know, scratch disc makes you sad. Clean disc makes you happy. <laughs> um, and then over here we've got sort of the the CD section right there, um, this is where it's more like genre specific based on, you know, like hip hop or rock or alternative, that kind of thing. Um, some movies and different collectibles around there. 
Um, got a unicycle up here. Oh, this is pretty funny. My friend brought this one in. It's uh, get off my cloud. It's Care Bear. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. Um, some more stuff up there. It's where we keep a lot of the art and stuff. We do get some pretty cool art coming in sometimes. I'm not going to go through it all, but there's some different kind of cool cool art in there. Um, kind of some more down here. This is like the gemstone cabinet area. Um, keep some different gemstones and things on this tree. We've got kind of like marbles and quartz and different things like that. Um, I don't know if you can really see in there, but there's kind of some cool little knick-knacky things coming in. Um, this is like a I don't know if you here I'll try again. I don't know, it's feel like it's I don't know if you can see it, but some different little things in there. Um and then up here we've got sort of the guitar wall type thing. Um put our instruments up there. Um back here we've kind of got some just random stuff everywhere, you know, some cool little things. Um, alrighty. Uh, picking up where we left off there. Um, sorry about those little, some people coming in there. Um, some old South Park guys hiding back there. Stained glass windows. This globe is kind of cool. It's like it lights up. I put my own light into it so it could light up. It's also this guitar that's like welded pieces, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, keep like guitar pedals over here and different stuff. Um, and then this cabinet is like kind of the antique cabinet or like collectibles, just, you know, just stuff. Um, I don't know, I'll try to go slow here, see if let me see. There's some different cool things in here. Old toys and everything from guns and toys and belt buckles and just stuff from, you know, all sorts of places, I guess. Um, got these little posters in there. Frankenstein. <laughs> uh, behind me is this photo bin. It's kind of where we put a lot of like found photography and different things like that. Uh, some more art and newspapers, old newspapers down here and stuff. Um, we've kind of got like a makeshift like I don't know, a little thing going on over here. We've got like harmonicas and stamps um this is like the vhs section mostly not too collectible vhs but the ones up top here we kind of like you know sometimes we get some kind of cool ones in i guess but uh this is kind of funny crazy cat lady <laughs> action figure <laughs> that was funny um and then up here well i guess to show you the ceiling we've got it's kind of hard to get it all in the frame but we've got you know i don't know decorate the ceiling with different posters and art from places um you know and then we've got kind of like we usually feature some clothing from the clothing rack up here um and then i guess i already showed you that let me see all right well then this line comes down with little clothespins on it. We just sort of, you know, every now and again, like feature different things that are coming in. Like, you know, right now it's kind of focused on music memorabilia. We've got like these old ticket stubs from 
different artists, you know, Moody Blues, Cheap Trick, um, Modern English, R.E.M., there's some different groups up there. And then uh, over here, we've got sort of like the Viewmaster section. That's where we keep all the Viewmaster. Um, it's a really nice piece of art. I like that. It was a, kind of like a baby piano. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I guess I'll give you a quick pan of this area. It's our Sonic Youth sign. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we come over here, and then we've got kind of like another book area in this corner. It's kind of like a little reading nook book area. At least that's how I was wanting it to be. I don't know if it's quite a great place to be reading, but <laughs> we got books there. Um, on the other side of this thing, we've got some other stuff up there too. Yeah, eight six seven five three zero nine on the wall here. That was kind of funny. Eight six seven five three zero nine. <laughs> um, so we keep like journals up here, and then oh, I really like this thing. It's like a, it's like this. It's an old sundial, but some different things up there. And then the books are kind of genre specific. I mean, I organize them into like music and travel and art and poetry, those different categories. But I mean, it's kind of got mixed up a bit. I need to go back through. I've kind of been putting it off, but um, we got some more posters up here too. Um, it's Hieronymus Bosch. I like that one. It's kind of hard to see with the light though, but in the window here we've got like old instruments that are kind of exploding. I got a copy of Enter the Void there. It's a great film. Um, I'm trying to get these posters in frame. Some different wall art and stuff. This one actually does have a black light next to it. I just don't have it plugged in, I guess. But um, a little rat fink up there. We got another little tentacle. Some different kind of funky toys and stuff. This is actually just really new. I like this little plastic thing. I don't know, it spins and makes it all weird. <laughs> um, and then we've got records. You know, that's the other main category we do is the records. So the records on the wall, you know, are kind of like what we feature every week. Um, and then we've got, you know, our record bins down here. And, uh, you know, put our new arrivals here every week. And, um, yeah, you know, there's some different stuff. I guess there's some cool stickers over here. You know, I don't know. They're kind of peeling off and stuff, but it's kind of some fun stickers on this. Oh, that was kind of cool. It used to be in my room, actually, that, but... Um, and then we keep all of our A tracks over there. Um, Pez, kind of in this old case. And then we're just kind of usually I use this area as kind of like an area to shove all the stuff where I don't know where it should go quite yet. <laughs> so um, some more records down below. It's kind of buried and stuff right now. And then uh, you know, oh yeah, well then we have cassettes. Along this wall, this is where we put our new arrivals right here, and then, you know, genre-specific sets, you know. Um, over here we have the, like, heavy metal, so it's like fantasy magazines and stuff. They're pretty cool. They've not been selling that well, but they're, I think they're really cool. A lot of great artwork in them. A little vulgar at times, but, but cool though. <laughs> um... This is the mystery machine, so you put some quarters in it, and you just never know what you'll get. You might get $5, or you might get, you know, I don't know, all sorts of random stuff, a pin, whatever, you know. Got this cool little tiki guy hiding out back here. A butterfly. And then this is the clothing area. Um, so, and this is, this is thanks in large part to my friend Patrick. 
He does uh, a lot of the vintage clothing. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up with it if it weren't for him. Um, he's got a knack for finding some pretty cool vintage clothes and things like that. So he puts these in here every week. And then uh, the vast majority of the clothing on this rack and the shoes are usually his that he brings in. Aside from a few exceptions here and there. But... Uh, but yeah, he brings some pretty cool stuff in, some pretty funny shirts, and just funky stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, sometimes just, you know, just cool stuff. I don't know, I'm not going to look through the whole rack or anything with you, but, you know, there's an idea though. You know, there's some cool clothing and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think if there's really anything else. I mean, it's mostly... You know, it's hard to see every little thing in the video, but you kind of get an idea of what we do. Um, I guess I never really showed you the art over here. There's some cool art up here. I like this one up here too. It's a painting. It's like the guy with the key and it's spirits draining out of him. Um, And uh, got a little Odie to uh, Twin Peaks right here with the whole backwards talking underworld. Um, and yeah, you know, that's, that's pretty much it, I guess. I mean, I guess back here, it's just a mess right now, like where my desk is. I mean, it's, I don't know, I'm like working on a lot of different stuff. So this is kind of like my work area where I just keep like supplies and just you know i don't know it's always just kind of an explosion back here so um is there anything like my laptop i guess <laughs> um my consoles down here that's where we keep our extra consoles and stuff um uh, yeah the untested stuff and you know stuff we're working on and then, I mean, there is outside too, um, but right now it's it's all tarped up. I'm not going to uncover it all, I don't think. it's. I don't know, this is another clothing rack. We do like kind of like new band shirts out here. Um, this is like Blu-ray. And then we've got these racks out here that are like, you know, for records and comics. We do like 50 cent comics in here. These are all like comic books and stuff. And then, uh, I don't know, there are some kind of some cool things out here, I guess. We got, like, some Kiss costumes that came in this week. It's, like, a, it's Gene Simmons. It's, like, really detailed. I thought that was kind of cool. Some cool cues and, you know, a slot machine out here this weekend. We got this weird-looking panda guy. It kind of makes me uncomfortable, to be honest, this panda guy, but... No, he's here, so. <laughs> then we've got kind of a car area too where we keep like car, car stuff, car emblems. And then this is like the art, kind of the art racks. I've actually kind of got to fill it up again today because it's kind of, it's kind of getting empty, but there's some different kind of cool little pieces of art out here and stuff, just some, some kind of like funky stuff and posters, things like that. Got this big wooden sun that we're gonna try to paint. And uh, yeah, so that's mostly it. I mean, you know, it's a pretty detailed tour of the, the shop there. Oh, well, we can't forget about the yo-yos. We got those two, I guess. <laughs> but cool, well, thanks for uh, watching that with me. If you guys, uh. <laughs> Or around or anything then come on down and then we'll hook you up a deal so, bye I guess I did forget a few things Jay drew all these amazing chalk drawings out here unfortunately they are kind of fading but we're gonna darken them up this week it's like a pac-man with blood and sharp teeth eating the ghosts and she did this really cool flower over here. And like this guy with like a TV head. And like a little 
little N64 thing. And like, I don't know. Usually we have chalk out front. Normally the drawings aren't this cool though. So thanks to Jay. A little shout out to her for making the shop cooler. And uh, 